Hello, hello, hello again. I am Niyama Israel, and you are watching the hem of his garment, women, women's ministry. I hope everyone is doing wonderful out there in the world today and always. I wanted to come on and do a video to share a message that has been placed on my heart with you all. As you can see again, I am out and about and time has been pushed back an hour so it is going to be getting darker than it had been before. So during this season. So uh, let me know in the comments if your time has been pushed back an hour where you are as well. I'm pretty sure it has, <laughs> but just let me know. And also let me know where city and state you're from. It is a beautiful day here where I am. It's actually 60 degrees, 60 degrees, over 60 degrees. So um, I'm just out doing some more shopping. And I just wanted to come and talk to you all about your comfort zone or coming out of your comfort zone, coming out of your comfort zone. And our comfort zones are where we tend to get stuck in life. They are where we feel comfortable and secure and safe. And while we are trapped in this uh, feeling of being comforted, we could a lot of times miss out on opportunities, miss out on blessings. And I just wanted to let you know today that in order to move ahead in life, in order to accomplish some goals that you have thought of, but you were too comfortable to move outside of being comfortable, you have caused yourself Oh my goodness, there's some, something going on out here. I think some men just ran out the store. Anyways, let me not be distracted. Back on topic at hand. I guess he was stealing something. He did. They called him the store. The store, um, the store people caught the guy stealing from the store. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. And they retrieved the stolen goods but um back to what i was saying <laughs> wow um being in a comfort zone excuse me y'all excuse me i'm just watching my surroundings because i'm out here in this world and you know you have to watch what's going on around you <laughs> but um yeah you have to come out of your comfort zone in order to move forward in life and more in order to progress and that can be in many different areas of our lives you know we have to move out of our comfortability we cannot stay stagnant you know we cannot stay stuck because when we are afraid or fearful or doubtful to be uncomfortable. We do our own selves a disservice. No one should be so frozen by being comfortable. And that's what I mean when we are in our comfort comfortable state, we are frozen. Now, 
if you are someone who normally is say like you know you find it easy to be outspoken you may be an extrovert with with with, with uh the label you're maybe labeled as an extrovert and you know you have no problem with public speaking or you know conversating with folks going up to folks and uh even starting a conversation you know then that is not an area where you know you'll be stepping outside of your comfort now on the contrary if you are the type of person like myself I, i'll consider myself what is labeled as an introvert um but i can be an extrovert but you know that comes with me being comfortable with people <laughs> and um honestly the uh i am who i am of course but if i want to uh step outside of my comfortability and i want to extend myself for an opportunity or for opportunities and things like that where it requires me to talk to people and it requires me to um you know be vocal and it requires me to step out of my comfort zone of um, being in my own space where i feel like uh i can hone on to my energy and i don't have to you know just uh put myself out <laughs> somewhere that i may not be comfortable then i could i could pretty much deter my own self in accomplishing a goal which will otherwise by communicating with people learning new things about people and um learning about new opportunities i could stop myself and prevent myself from from um succeeding so um i'm not saying not to be yourself but I am saying that in order a lot of times in order for us to move along in anything that we have our mind set on success is going to be outside of our comfort zone it's going to be outside of that and as soon as we get comfortable with being uncomfortable then that's when we'll be able to grasp everything that we desire and we'll be able to we'll be able to accomplish more and grow more in our own personal growth and development so don't get stuck in being comfortable and using that as an excuse another example I'll say uh for instance um you know we may be comfortable with having just a little bit of um you know su substance material things um finances and you know we might be comfortable in our 9 to 5 oh because we feel that it's safe we feel that you know it's security in that and pursuing anything outside of that we there we go outside of our comfort zone because we don't know we don't want to take the chances and the risk and things like that and then if something happens where we feel like uh you know i it failed it failed we put in our mind that it already failed then we are already um ready to give up and quit you know and go back and rush to our 9 to 5 and jobs and just sit there and you know let our lives just um pretty much waste away because we know that we have thing other things in our lives that we desire to do and a lot of times that is that has nothing to do with working for someone else that has nothing to do with a 9 to 5 or anything like that that has all to do with what we feel we were created to be put here in this earth to do but we run away from that and we run back to being comfortable and um the things that make us feel safe so let type in the comments type in the comments say i will break free i will break free from being stuck in my own comfortability say it any way you please to say it but let me know in the comments i will break free i will not be a prisoner to my own 
comfort zone. I will t let me know that you will uh, push, you will push forward, you will press forward to accomplish goals and dreams that you desire for yourself. And um, later, you know, just like the Bible speaks of when about our gifts and talents that we are given from the Most High, you know, just as Christ was speaking to uh, the disciples who were following him. And there could have been some people in there who, um, you know, pretty much uh, were just there to, um, you know, just cause a bunch of confusion in the midst of it. They really weren't followers of Christ, but, you know, they had some things to say uh naysayers so um for, but for those who were following christ he gave them a parable about um the 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 uh, master and his servants and the talents and he was he was making it making it out to be uh like the kingdom of of the most high you know being that how there were three different uh, men that were given these talents. One had one talent, I believe. I think another had maybe two or three, and another had five or something like that. Um, I'll go deep into that uh, another time. But uh, if you remember the parable about the talents that Christ spoke about, in the gospel then you know what i mean and the ones who had more than one talent they multiplied that they took that and they increased what they were entrusted with and um so the one who had um what was two talents he made it uh four i believe and then the one who had uh five talents he made it he made it ten talents i might be paraphrasing this wrong but it's in line of that but i remember the one who had the one talent he uh buried his talent because he said he was afraid you know that um and he will he was trying to keep it safe and the master came back and he took that one talent that the guy had and gave it to the one who had made a 10 talents <laughs> because he um he was he didn't do what he should have done. He, he should have made an increase on that. And um, by him being afraid, what he had been given was snatched back from him. So what you are given in your creative purpose from the Most High, don't be afraid to in increase that, especially when you have been given that, because when you have been given that, you have been counted worthy. You have been entrusted. So take that and run with it and increase it for the kingdom of the most high. Increase it. Increase that. What good is it going to do you to hold on to it when you can be uh, blessing other people with it, with the gifts and talents that you have? What good is it that you bury that and you take that to your grave and then all your life you um, think about, should have could have would have you know what well who is that helping is that benefiting you so i just wanted to just come and let you all know to break free from your comfort zone you can do it and um i'll be back again as i mentioned with the in-depth study on the the three men that were given talents from their servant from their master excuse me so until next time, you all, share this video with your loved ones so that they can break free too from anything that they might be holding on to that has them feel comfort and safe and secure, knowing that their breakthrough is on the other side of their comfort zone. So um, don't forget to also subscribe to this video, subscribe to my to the channel, and to like this video. So y'all, y'all be blessed. I am Nama Israel, and I want you all to have 
an amazing rest of your evening, day, and take care of yourselves. Until next time. Peace.